what a great end to the regular season. Um, to do it in ho at home in front of such a huge crowd. Uh, it was fun to see, especially our seniors just play so well. Their last weekend in front of their fans, in front of their families. Um, but I'm just, I'm really proud of that finish. You know, to finish, the Big Ten is tough for softball. And we're a conference that gets a ton of teams into the postseason. And for us to finish strong and finish fifth is a really big deal in this conference. Um, you know, in the years I've been here, it, we finished fourth a couple times, but you finish fifth and you're, you know, you're one of the best teams out there. And um, I'm just proud of our team of having that kind of toughness and wherewithal to, to keep playing and play some great softball late. So we're excited about the, excited to start the postseason. Questions? Uh, yeah, I mean, going in as the five seed, um, you face the Illinois team right off the bat that, that you guys saw at home. Now you get to go, you know, play against them at their place. Uh, just your thoughts on, you know, having that matchup in the first round. And like you said, being the late game, you know, kind of having to deal with the marathon of a day. Yeah, well, the, the 7 o'clock game is the marquee game. And I think, um, you know, we've matched up in that that night game, that TV game in the NCAAs a bunch of times. So I just love that postseason experience. You get to go on the road. You get to play the host team. Um, and you get to do it under the lights with all their fans, and that's what you play for. And so for our team, I love that they get that experience. I want the, the stands full when we're playing, and you want to play against teams at their best. So to, to see Illinois at home, now I, I love we'll be in their dugout. I love that we get to be the home team, you know, just that's the, the little sister in me that likes to, you know, poke the bear a little bit, but um, that'll be fun. Um, but we have a ton of Chicago kids on our team, so that matchup is, is even more kind of personal. I'm from Chicago, and we've got a bunch of Midwest kids and a lot of Chicago kids, so when you play Illinois, it, it feels like, uh, like another border battle, and so um, it, it'll be a great matchup. Talking about Katie Keller specifically, obviously she's you know knocking on the doorstep of a, of a NCAA record, which is huge. But for her to come in and have the impact that she's had, what can you just say about the performance that she's put on in this in this season with Wisconsin? Yeah, Katie Keller's she's a tremendous player. Um, you know, another Illinois kid on the roster, so that'll make the the matchup Friday or the, the matchup Wednesday even more exciting. But um, man, she crushes the ball. We gave her a hard time. She had a couple balls that almost went out this weekend. And we said, did you keep that in the park to just keep chasing that doubles record? Because she had one she thought went out, and, and it was a double. And uh, But she's just having a blast. And, and getting to see players kind of chase their dreams, play in front of full stands, and have little kids cheering and calling out their name as they're chasing records, I mean, we have so much pride for that. So she's had a tremendous career before, but to see her really kicking it up an extra notch and doing it on a big stage, TV games in front of, you know, thousands of fans, I'm just, I'm thrilled for her to have that experience. Coach, what will be maybe some of the, the things you'll talk about and maybe practice wise to, to execute to keep the momentum in your favor going into Wednesday's matchup? Yeah, uh, it, that's what you want to do. You want to carry through. And for us to, to win games late in the year, I think everyone's feeling really good right now. And that's that's important. You come off and, and there's some confidence. We've got to get through finals. Every person at UW knows what a big week this is right now to be able to turn that page and academically let them finish up finals. So we're just kind of taking care of business this week in the classroom to start with. And then we'll we'll talk about taking it one game at a time and, and taking care of business um, against the Illini. But they're good. They're very very good team and whenever you face someone at home uh, you know advantage them because you're playing on their field and I think our team is really comfortable with that and so um, I think it'll be a great uh, a great challenge and a great test to see about us being on the road in front of their fans bringing our best game that we've uh, got going from this weekend. Coach maybe um talk a little bit about the the special day that we had Sunday with the seniors and it was kind of a storybook ending for, for all three, well, there's more than three, but uh, so the Kayla Conwens, Maddie Schwartz, and you know Keller, who performed amazingly, obviously, throughout the series. Yeah, it, that was a storybook ending. I think when you have fifth year seniors, you don't know if that senior day is gonna be too emotional, and if they're gonna be able to kind of keep it in check, and they were all business. 
I mean, they took on the day like they were pros and really the whole weekend. So to watch Maddie Schwartz go out there and, and throw two complete games and only give up a run in two games, just she was leading the way. She was calm, cool, and collected. You get Kayla Conwen and uh, Katie Keller probably having one of the best weekends that each of them has had, and they choose to do it at senior day in front of their home crowd. Um, and Kayla Conwen went leading off the game on Sunday on senior day with a, another home run to get the crowd going. It was just such a cool thing. So um, they've just been emotional rocks for us. They've been leaders. Um, and watching them do that on senior day, I think they just inspired so many little kids. And there you've got a Minnesota kid in Manny Schwartz. You've got a Wisconsin kid in Kayla Conwent and a Chicago kid with Katie Keller. So there were so many Midwest fans. I saw the photos afterwards on all the social media of the players that they've coached, that they've been around, and and those kids showing up in the stands for their favorite Badger, um, that was really heartwarming for me. Uh, when you talk about approaching the postseason, obviously you've done this several times and, and you have a roster that has a lot of experience on it. So what is the approach, how is the approach any different going into, into this tournament, especially when you talk about uh, having so many veteran leaders on this roster? Um, you know, I, I think we love the, the postseason because we're built for it, that um, we're a team that, you know, we're really consistent. We train hard all year. We really don't take our foot off the gas. We're watching film. We're breaking it down. Um, and so the team's prepared. And I think they feel that way. And they like to have fun. And so teams that enjoy each other and love each other and have worked really hard are just fun to watch in the postseason because they let it all hang out. And so that's what we're going to be looking for from them. And, and it's how they played this weekend. They were focused, but while they were relaxed and having fun. And um, you go into the postseason, and that's what you want to see. You don't have to make it more than it is. It's just a time to take all the work that you've been doing off the field and show everybody on a, on a bigger stage.